we are discussing is so important because it is actually the crux of the matter of what is happening in the country today. The ministers, the cabinet secretaries, were dismissed from public pressure because due to public pressure, apparently, clearly, the public, going by what was happening, had actually lost confidence in the government. And when they invaded parliament, this was a loss of confidence and the, in, on parliament and its credibility. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, the process that is now reversing that must start in the most transparent way, without doubt, absolutely. Mr. Speaker, what the President announced is definitely different from what you have read to us. Mr. Speaker, at that point alone, the public will not really ha have confidence in what we are doing unless probably the president came and first of all made the changes. He has the appeal to do that. But what the public knows of the people we are going to vet is actually what he announced. Now, what we are going to vet now is totally different. Mr. Speaker, what the people believe, whether they are right or wrong, is important. People act from their belief. And when they were running and attacking at the National Assembly, it is arising from their deep belief that we do not represent their interest, we are not credible to them. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I find, and you really need to clarify this, why the list you have read to us is different from what the President read. We are starting from a very weak point on that basis alone, Mr. Speaker. We really need to preserve this country, and particularly this House. The challenges are going to be bigger. Leave alone the issue that you, you dismiss people and then you bring them back. The question is, why did you dismiss them in the first place? But leaving thank that you, aside, Mr. Speaker, that, that credibility is required. We should have the same list, Mr. Speaker. Honorable, uh, Honorable Dr. Nikal, as a House of Parliament, we are a House of Record. And the record we have is a communication from the Executive Office of the President. And it must be in writing and signed by the President. And it is right here. That is the President's signature, you can see. And that is the communication letter from the Head of Public Service. The President, like anybody else, has the right to change his mind on what he has decided. What is important is the record that comes to this house. And the record that has arrived in this house is what I have read to you. Remember that nobody will become minister, one, until and unless the president has written to parliament, two, until parliament has sat in committee and vetted and three, until the whole House has voted on the report of the vetting committee. That is what is important, Honorable Nikal. We have had cases before where members were pronounced on media as having been appointed as ambassadors, and we have received communication that shows that they have been transposed from one station to another and we have vetted them without question. In any case, the proposed names that I've read to you are not ministers until you pass in this house. So there's nothing inconsistent. Yes, Kaluma. I, I thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I'm not fortunate to sit in the committee of, uh, on appointments. But, 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 Honorable Speaker, let me um, tell the members of that committee uh, something the High Court said a short while back as they go into that critical process before I make my last comment. They include you as truly here. I'm yes, the chair I, of that committee. You, you are the chair? Yes. You are the chair. And I'm uh, your loyal assistant, Honorable Speaker. <laughs>
Honorable Speaker, in the year 2018, this is what the High Court said regarding public appointments under the new constitution. And I quote Honorable Speaker, that August 27, 2010, ushered in a new regime of appointments to public office, whereas the past was characterized by open corruption, tribalism, nepotism, favoritism, scrapping the barrow, and political patronage. The new dispensation requires a break from the past. The Constitution... Sorry, Honorable Speaker. The, the Constitution signifies the end of jobs for the boys era. Article 10 sets out the values that must be infused in every decision-making process. Honorable Speaker, I'm saying this is a critical reminder to us because we are at a point in time when the nation is looking unto this house to provide the leadership it needs. Honorable Speaker, it is for this reason that last week, even as the ODM party, independent parties of Azimi also, we sat and said that the government of Kenya belongs to all of us. And Honorable Speaker, we met as ODM and we resolved it. I'm saying this because I don't want some confusion I've seen circulating. Somebody writing saying, if members of the ODM party are appointed to government, they are going on their own. We met and resolved so. And, 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 and Honorable Speaker, don't say no. When the ODM party speaks, even as the Mio has spoken, Honorable Speaker, there is a tendency coming up in this country. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, let me explain to these people the law. Let me explain to these people the law. I will speak. Order. Order. Honorable Speaker. Order. Honorable. Honorable members. Honorable Jalas, yes. yeah, we want to speak. Huh? This, this is not a baraza in Langata. This is a house of parliament. Go on. Honorable, honorable, let me address, honorable speaker, what is in Article 232 of the Constitution. It says the public service will have the face of Kenya. All ethnic communities will be there. Persons of the gender quotas prescribed under Article 27 will be there. Honorable Speaker, as a person from an ethnic community, I will not agree to a position where people say everybody is in the government of Kenya except Lewis. Yet Lewis also pay taxes. Honorable Speaker, I therefore, I therefore want to congratulate the President for the appointment, but request the President that within the week, as soon as tomorrow, we want to see those other appointments Baba was to forward to him. And, and, and we want all of them approved. And Honorable Speaker, if that can happen, then we are going to push this thing very fast. We cannot leave anybody out. And, and, and Honorable Speaker, Speaker, let me send a warning. We want to tell people sending conflicting positions from the ODM to remember that they are on an interim position in those positions. We can remove them if we resolve a position and then they contradict it. This one has to happen for the good of the nation and we are telling the government we are ready to serve to secure that Kenya moves properly. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order, order, Honorable Members. Order, next order. Next order.